Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It's 951 on a Saturday morning. Today's vlog is just a, another episode as an entrepreneur, a business owner, and a barber, you know, a day in the life. Um, so, yeah, if you guys are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate everybody tuning in today's video. Right now, I'm right here at the gas station. I'm about to grab some waters, get my day started. You know, you got to start your day off with that water, y'all. Stay hydrated. It's kind of cold out here. Oh, shit. Be patient is key. 2019 Daytona 392. Got this agua. I just got two of these. Crystal guys. Okay, going on with that. Man, whatever bird did this is a motherfucking hater. Look, it got shit all over my car. The bird was hating, yo. That's one. Look at all that shit. All that bird shit. They some haters, yo. Like, yeah, fuck that dude's car. He ain't for me clean. I just got a car wash, too. It's crazy. All right, yo, I just got to the barbershop. Finna start my first haircut at 10 a.m. Not too busy today, just because the holidays. Being crazy busy with the holidays, yo. Working eight days, hella hours. So I got a lot of my clientele out the way. Just getting ready for this New Year's. I'm working this Monday. So New Year's Eve is Tuesday. All right, y'all, here's my station. About to get ready for the day. Always make sure you come into the clean station. Slimline Pro, Retro T-Cut, Blow Dryer. Got the Fade Masters, Wall Fire Star Senior, my gloves, Sanic strips. Everything labeled, you know, just cause state board, but yeah. We and for you upcoming barbers and barbers that need to learn, cosmetologists, always be prepared for your haircut, yo. Make sure you're prepared, you're on time, or even early ready. You know, you don't want to be late and feel like you're rushed. Always be sure you're on time. I know things happen sometimes and that's fine, that's life. But other than that, make sure you be on time and be on your shit. You know, cause you're self-employed at the end of the day, so you gotta get it. You know, you gotta get it and keep those clients coming back. And everything matters in this industry. Man, this dude got all the clippers, man. He got all the new shit, everything brand new. What you got over here, V? Yeah, take it up. Dude, bro. stay with the new clippers, y'all. Yeah. Got the baby list. These is actually hitters. I tried these before, y'all. These are good clippers. Let me see. And this one is brand new. Oh, shit. Man, Check these out. Uh, uh, Rudy, uh huh. Get a picture of all his Man, <laughs> yeah, these are the new detailers. Detailer, man. Cordless. Cordless. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not everybody got these, man. You barely even see these. Y'all gotta invest in y'all shit. I need to invest in some stuff too myself. You know. Right now, I, I stay with a couple clippers. I don't like a hell of clippers on my station, but you know, messing with this dude, working with him, got some stuff that will make the job a lot easier. Like those Oster Octane, these ones right here, these go to work. These is good right here. I want to get these. These are about like three, 300 bucks. Gotta take them vitamins, y'all. It's that sick season. Like I said, we self-employed, so we gotta stay, make sure our bodies is good. Cause if we miss out a day of work, we ain't getting paid for that day like we do a nine to five job. So you gotta make sure you take care of your body. That's important, for sure. All right, y'all, I'm finna go to AutoZone to get a microfiber tail for my car, cause my car is all black and it's dusty. So I'm about to go grab some lunch too right now. And head back to the barbershop, yo. It might be a short Saturday for me, you know. Every day can't be like super busy, so might take advantage of the short Saturday to be back at it tomorrow. So y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. So I bought this duster from AutoZone. I actually go to work too. For surely needed for the black car. I don't know if y'all can see the dust, but. Let's get that off. You gotta take care of your tours, yo. If not, it's just gonna build up. It's gonna get worse. 
question that I do get asked a lot is apprenticeship program or barber school. Me personally, I would do, um, it just depends the situation you're in. If you got money saved up and you're working, then I would do the uh, the barber school. You know what I'm saying? If you need money and like barbering is your last straw, like if you just desperately need money, then I'll do the apprenticeship program because the apprenticeship program is a lot cheaper. It's a longer term, meaning two years for the apprenticeship program and also you get paid through the week because you're going to be able to work at a barber shop, you know. So there's pros and cons to the uh, apprenticeship program because a lot of the times it's more of a struggle to get a licensed barber to basically put his license under you. So you you would go as an apprenticeship barber, you have to put your license under a licensed barber, you know. So you can't just work in a shop. Someone has to sign your paperwork to be your trainer. You gotta make sure your uh, paperwork's filled out every day, you know, your OJT form. It's just, that's in California what I know of. I don't know in other states, but you know, apprenticeship program is a lot more paperwork, a lot more liability with insurance and stuff like that they need. But a licensed barber is just considered your own self-employed, like that's somebody that you don't gotta worry about. So that, I prefer a, a licensed barber over apprenticeship. You know, that's just my preference. And um, that would be my route. Like I said, if I had money saved up and I was working, I would do the barber school instead of the apprenticeship program, just because it's a lot longer. You gotta go to school every week, you know, every Tuesday, I believe, you know, some schools are different. Some go Monday or Tuesday, but um, yeah, I would go just to get it over with the barber school. That's just my opinion. So we right here waiting for this damn food. You know, order a breakfast burrito from this Mexican spot. It's just fire, yo. Damn. Car looking real, real nice. And that comes from dedication. Just putting in work at the barber shop. Putting in work in general. You know, you, things ain't gonna happen if you don't put work in it. You gotta stay consistent. You gotta believe in yourself. You gotta have a vision for sure. All right, y'all, this is what the owners do, man. We gotta take care of your shop. Gotta change the paper towels. You know, it's something small, but I just want to show y'all what be going on. You know, it's more than just cutting here. You gotta make sure the shop's good, clean, and everything, supplies is up to date. I can't do this with one hand. But yeah, so this is what to come with, y'all. More responsibility, shit, shit like that. You can hire somebody, but I don't mind doing this. I'm always here. And it only takes like a minute, so. But for you guys that's lazy, you know, hire somebody. Man, back to good. Just like that. So as we're waiting for our table to be seated, I just wanted to give y'all some game and just talk to y'all about some situations and just how to basically elevate you guys yourself and that's really gonna help out in this industry. So you gotta basically listen to the people that's been through that. I've been through the credit stage. I've been through the discipline stage. I've been through, you know, opening it up and investing my money right. But, you know, I'm still learning. And that's 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 a mindset as an entrepreneur and as a businessman. You gotta feed yourself to elevate, maximize your potential. So with that being said, um, invest in your time right you know everything's gonna take time everything's gonna be you gotta be patient when it comes to this if you guys want it you guys gotta really be patient because every opportunity that comes your way is not a great opportunity especially if it is a great opportunity but your your skill sets and your character and your mindset is not made for it yet then that opportunity ain't gonna exist because you're not made for that opportunity. So just stay, take your time with it. You know, first things first, you gotta have a vision. You gotta believe in yourself. You gotta, you know, do something that you wanna do. You know, whatever it's investing your money in property, into business, into, uh, you know, yourself. You know, yourself is especially is, is really important. So, you know, I had to invest in myself, you know, before I opened up a barbershop, you know, financially and mentally. Now is my time when I was 21 years old. That's when I opened up my own barbershop. I'm 24 now and, um, you know, business is good. I'm thankful. And at the time when I was in another barbershop, like I said, I was financially ready in 2016, but I mentally wasn't. So that whole year, I was just asking questions, feeding myself that knowledge, asking the, the, the owners that I was there, asking them questions and how they, they operate and how they run their business so I could learn from that dealing with situations and being but you guys got to stay positive stay disciplined treat people right and it's going to come so uh read books yo watch these videos that i we tell y'all you know because it's a cycle the next generation is going to become another business person or entrepreneur and use these ways is what i'm telling you to keys to help you out in your journey especially that's the ones that's going through this this route right now so uh, that's the advice I can give you guys. Just stay disciplined, self-educate yourself, and be patient. Patience is key. Stay consistent in whatever you're doing. You don't got to be business. It can be anything, basketball, sports, uh, 
school, books. Just be patient, stay consistent, stay wanting to elevate, maximize your potential, and it's gonna come, yo. You know, I never thought I was I would be a business owner at 21 years old. It was scary, but like I said, you gotta have a game plan. I had a game plan, you know, how to build my credit up to even open up an establishment. So credit is very important, especially in um, United States, California is very important. And just in general, I highly recommend you guys to uh, build it. Um, that's it for today. I appreciate everybody tuning in to today's vlog. It's your boy Flex and Rude. Make sure to like this video. Drop comments if you got any, you know, subjects you want to talk about, any topics you want me to talk about, you know, so drop comments below. You know, like I said, um, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Today's video, please drop comments below if you got any topics you want me to talk about, anything to go over with. But yeah, that's just a life, a day in the life as a business owner a barber and just giving some um, game back to you know the people that's coming up you know like i said it's a cycle so i got to get back and um you know especially in my position i'm in so i'm always you know always happy to get back in any way 